Ever find yourself staring into the fridge during a fasting window, wondering if a can of diet soda is a friend or foe? Well, buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into this fizzy dilemma. Intermittent fasting has taken the world by storm, embraced by many for its flexibility and the significant health perks it offers. Whether you're a fan of the 16-8 method where you eat during an 8-hour window and fast for 16 or you go all out with one meal a day, there's no denying its popularity, but here comes the million-dollar question. Does guzzling down a can of diet soda throw a wrench in your fasting works? This fizzy beverage, free from calories and carbs, sits on the fence in the world of fasting. We're all set to explore how intermittent fasting boosts your metabolism and overall health, and crucially, where diet soda fits into this bubbly equation. Stay tuned as we pop open the can of worms that is diet soda during fasting periods. Before we dive into the bubbly specifics, let's get a crash course on intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting isn't just a fancy phrase to throw around at brunch, it's a strategic way to time your meals to push your metabolism into overdrive. Picture this, you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. Common methods include the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window, then there's the 18-6, tightening the eating window to 6 hours. And for the truly bold, there's OMAD one meal a day. It sounds like a survival TV show, but it's surprisingly doable. Why put yourself through this, you ask? Well, intermittent fasting is like a reboot for your body's metabolic systems. Studies have shown it can ramp up insulin sensitivity, helping to manage or prevent type 2 diabetes. It's also a ticket to weight loss city, as it can reduce overall calorie intake without the need to count every carrot stick. But here's the clincher. What you consume during your fasting window is pivotal. It's not just about dodging calories like a nimble ninja, it's about ensuring nothing disrupts the sacred metabolic processes underway. Think of your fasting period as a time when your body is on a cleanse, tuning up its engine for better performance. Got it? Great. Now let's fizz up our knowledge about diet soda's role in all this. Now, for the heart of the fizz, does swigging that diet soda send your fasting efforts down the drain? Let's dive into the bubbling debate surrounding diet soda and intermittent fasting. On one side, we have fasting purists who argue that anything other than water is a no-go during the fasting window. They suggest that even the mere taste of sweetness could trick your body into reacting as if it's getting sugar, potentially spiking insulin levels. On the flip side, many argue that diet soda with its zero-calorie charm doesn't technically break a fast. After all, if the calories aren't there, what's the harm? This camp points to the artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose, which don't raise blood sugar levels in the same way that regular sugar does. So, what does the science say about diet soda's impact on insulin and blood sugar regulation? Studies are somewhat fizzy on this topic. While some research indicates that artificial sweeteners may cause a minor insulin response, others suggest that this isn't significant enough to affect the overall benefits of fasting. The key here is that responses can vary wildly from person to person. Now, let's crack open the can on ketosis and autophagy, two critical processes in the fasting playbook. Ketosis, your body's fat-burning state, shouldn't be heavily impacted by a zero-calorie drink. However, the effect of artificial sweeteners on autophagy, the process where your cells clean out their waste, is still under scientific scrutiny. Some experts believe these sweeteners could interfere with this cellular cleanup, though definitive evidence is still pending. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, but let's not lose our bubbles yet. There's more to sip on. Craving a cold one during your fasting window. Let's weigh the benefits against the risks. Diving into the world of diet soda while intermittent fasting is like navigating a bubbly labyrinth. On one hand, these zero-calorie beverages promise to keep the pangs of hunger at bay without tipping the caloric scale. Sounds tempting, right? but it's not just about quenching thirst or tricking the tummy into feeling full. Diet sodas are also champion hydrators. Given that they are mostly water, they can help meet your fluid needs, which is crucial during fasting periods when water intake can sometimes take a back seat. However, it's not all fizz and frolic. The potential risks of diet soda often spark a heated debate among fasting enthusiasts. The main culprit? Artificial sweeteners. These sweet little imposters can send mixed signals to our brains. While they don't add calories, they can trick our body into expecting sugar, potentially leading to increased appetite later on. It's a bit like receiving a beautifully wrapped box with nothing inside. Disappointing and somewhat confusing. Moreover, the impact of these artificial sweeteners isn't uniform across the board. 
Some folks might experience a spike in hunger hormones like ghrelin after downing a can of diet soda, which can turn a well-intentioned fast into a frantic fridge raid. Others might sail through their fasting window without a hiccup. It really boils down to personal metabolism and how your body reacts to these synthetic sweeteners. Speaking of individual differences, it's crucial to listen to your body when introducing anything new into your diet, especially during fasting. Observing how you feel after drinking diet soda can give you clues about whether it's a helpful ally or a sneaky saboteur in your fasting journey. It seems the diet soda plot thickens more than the drink itself. Let's wrap this up with some practical tips. Ready to make an informed sip? Here's how you can integrate or substitute diet soda in your fasting lifestyle. For the enthusiasts who can't imagine fasting without the occasional fizz, moderation is key. If you decide to include diet soda in your intermittent fasting routine, consider limiting it to one can per day. This approach minimizes any potential impact on insulin levels while still allowing you to enjoy that bubbly sensation. It's like balancing on a tightrope, but instead of falling, you're just sipping. However, for those who prefer to steer clear of artificial sweeteners, or if you find that diet soda triggers cravings rather than curbs them, there are plenty of refreshing alternatives. Herbal tea, for instance, is a fantastic option. Imagine sipping on a warm cup of peppermint or chamomile tea. Not only does it hydrate, but it also brings a sense of calm during your fasting hours. It's like a spa day, but in your mug. Then there's the ever-popular black coffee, the loyal companion of many fasters. It's bold, it's robust, and best of all, it's calorie-free during its black tie event. No sugar, no cream. For those who miss the carbonation, sparkling water can be a lively substitute. Toss in a slice of lemon or lime for that extra zing, turning plain water into a classy affair. Let's not forget about plain old water. Sometimes simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Staying well hydrated is crucial during fasting, and water is your best ally, always ready to back you up without a fuss. As you experiment with these options, remember to listen to your body. Everyone's fasting journey is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. Pay attention to how different beverages affect your hunger levels, energy, and overall fasting experience. In the end, the choice of what to drink during your fasting periods is yours to make. Tailor your beverage intake to suit your fasting style and health goals. Remember, the best diet is the one that works for you, tailored suit not included. Let's recap our bubbly journey through the world of diet soda and intermittent fasting. We've fizzed through quite a bit today, from the ins and outs of intermittent fasting to the effervescent debates surrounding diet soda. First off, we explored the basics of intermittent fasting, highlighting its various methods like 16-8, 18-6, and one meal a day. We talked about the metabolic and health bonuses, think improved insulin sensitivity and weight loss, not to mention the process of autophagy, where your cells essentially clean house. Then we dove into the heart of our discussion. Does diet soda truly break your fast? The consensus isn't crystal clear, but we learned that while diet soda doesn't bring calories or carbs to the party, it could still crash it by possibly affecting insulin levels and other metabolic processes. It's like inviting a friend who says they won't eat anything at your dinner party but ends up nibbling on some appetizers. We also weighed the potential benefits against the risks. Sure, diet soda can curb your appetite and keep cravings at bay without adding calories. However, the artificial sweeteners might play tricks on your hunger hormones and not everyone's body throws the same kind of party. In terms of practical advice, we emphasize moderation and mindfulness. Listen to your body and see how it responds. After all, everyone's chemistry is unique. Remember, personal preference and biological response are crucial. For tailored advice, don't hesitate to consult with healthcare professionals. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this fizzy ride, smash that like button, share the bubbles with your friends, and subscribe for more refreshing content. Remember, staying informed is always in good taste.